I got the trailer hooked up and uh, I'm headed to pick up something pretty special to me. Uh, I was strolling through Marketplace this morning and uh, come across the 99 Camaro. Uh, you know, I like 4th Gen Camaros. I've, I've had a couple of them. And I look at the car, I said, looks like my old car. Anyway, uh, I said, yeah. You know, I'm 99% sure that's my old cars. Anyway, I, I contacted the guy, confirmed that it was, and uh, we struck a deal on it, and uh, I'm on my way to get it. Uh, I had this car, I loved it. Um, it run real good for what it was, a six-speed car at the time. Uh, we won a lot of street races with it back in the day. Uh, I haven't seen this car in about 10 years, and uh, I can't wait to get there. Let y'all see it when we get there. This picture was taken uh, almost 11 years ago. Still got the girl. We've got two babies now, and uh, now the car's back home. All right, guys, we got the car. Uh, we pretty much like the pictures. Uh, came with a trick chassis uh, tubular torque arm with a uh, cross member for a turbo 350 it's got some exhaust with a cutout up under it uh, radiator with fans uh, came with an extra fuel pump uh, the interior sitting in it it's not bolted down um, got a BM like a pro ratchet shifter in it uh, race star wheels like it's going to be a decent little car. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the car and uh, looks like it's been quite a while since it's been cared for. But uh, nothing we can't fix. And I'll show it to you all as soon as we get home. Now here she is. Uh, she's got a set of race star wheels on it. Some drag radials. It's got subframe connectors on it. Those were on it when I got the car. Or when I had it the first time. Uh, it's got some exhaust under it with a cutout. It's a real solid car. Still doesn't have any rust or anything to speak of. Sunoco style bolt-on hood. Um, B&M Pro Ratchet Shifter. The dash is out of it, but there it is in the car. The seats and stuff are still there. They're just unbolted. The wiring's still complete, as far as I can tell. When I got this car, it was a 90,000 mile, uh, six-speed LS1. And the car run good. Uh, we won a lot of races with it on the street back then. Uh, like I said, since then, it's been uh, pretty well road hard and put up with it, but... Uh, It'll make a fun little cruiser for me and the wife to go out in. Uh, can't wait to get it running and uh, get it back on the road.
I'm gonna do a walk around here, what I got going on in the shop, and uh, show y'all some of the projects we're working on. This is a 1972 Skylark. We just did a full rewire on. We're almost finished with it now. Uh, really cleaned up a lot under the hood. It was a huge mess when it came in. Some wires had caught on fire and melted, and there was just wires and wire nuts everywhere. But we've got it cleaned up, and got the ignition box moved over there, the coil moved over there, relocated the oil line, feed line for the pressure gauge and stuff and uh, really cleaned it up up under here. Did a little work on the firewall and uh, tucked everything in. Everything's in loom. Everything is heat shrunk and uh, soldered where needed and uh, shouldn't give any more problems. Um, pull the interior out to get to, get to the wiring and uh, get it all cleaned up. We are going to put uh, aftermarket AC in this car while it's apart. Uh, got the rear section done, like I said, loomed, and uh, everything is run. Uh, this is a 66 GTO. Uh, it's a 65 326 engine that was in it. Uh, we pulled it out, put oil pump in it, and uh, got it you know, freshened up looking, and uh, Painted the intake and the exhaust manifolds are in the sandblaster and they'll be going back on. It's got new motor mounts on it. We got fuel pump, water pump stuff to go on it too. New Summit carburetor, electronic ignition. Uh, AC is going to be functional. It's going to be a nice old car. We uh, blasted and painted the wheels, put new rubber on them, and uh, they're ready for the road. Got disc brakes on the car now. All right. The Impala project is uh waiting to be worked on uh i've got new brakes for the front of it uh of course we got stuff to do the back of the drums and i've got a set of slicks to go on it i gotta find some front runners and uh, hopefully we can get it uh where she'll run and drive soon and uh we can go get her washed up i know y'all are wanting to see it cleaned up and I, i'm kind of getting to the point where i am too This is a 94 Silverado. We put a 69 350 in it. It's got a set of flat top pistons, a mild ISKI camshaft, uh, 487 heads, uh, reflash the TBI. It's got aluminum manifold on it. Got some glass pack exhaust. It's gonna make a nice little cruiser. Just old work truck for, for our customer here. This is a 71 C10 uh, we just bought. Uh, gonna do a little bit to it and uh, work some bugs out of it and get her cleaned up a little bit and it will be for sale. It's got front disc brakes, power steering, early 90s model 350, 700R4 transmission. It's got a nice stereo in it. Uh, like I said, we just gotta, gotta do a few things to it and uh, we're gonna get it, uh, get it listed and for sale. It's a good solid old truck. Um, good glass in it got a nice set of keystone classics on it it's been lowered a little bit uh, gonna blend this door in and get it to to match the rest of the truck previous owner said somebody tried to steal it or something anyways just about ready for paint we'll get it there and uh splash a little color on it uh previous owner had named this truck long boy uh i think that's pretty neat uh, anyway if this is something you're interested in let us know The four-door Falcon project 
is off at the blasters. Uh, should be getting some of the parts back uh, soon, the doors and stuff like that. And uh, we'll get them in epoxy primer. And then uh, the body will come back and uh, get primed and ready for uh, metal work to start. Uh, got the paint in for the engine. We're gonna custom mix some green to match what the car is gonna be. And uh, start on that here soon as well. I just wanna remind everybody that we are a dealer for blueprint engines and we can sell and install uh, you a blueprint engine, anything from mild to wild. And uh, this is one we put in a 68 Camaro a short while back. Here's a little update on my Camaro. I put a set of 29 and a half, 10, five slicks on the 15 by 14 whole shot wheels that are on the car. And I uh, made up my mind what I want to do for bar angles I want to try next time we go to the track.